army. All packed up, ready to go. And I think that's my Uber. See you guys in the Uber. Alright, made it to the airport now. Didn't get any sleep last night, super tired still. I pretty much stayed, uh, rode around in bed for like five hours. It's okay, we're on the way to the airport now. And uh, lots of people staring at me. I don't know if it's the tank top, the gains, or the fact that I'm vlogging myself. But 10 hour flight. It's not too uh, bad then, like, uh, yeah, like people and stuff. But the traffic is really, really Aloha, brojas. We just landed 10 hours, but finally in Hawaii, walking down to Badge Lane. This is my old working place I used to work at. Alan! Alan! How you doing? Nice good, to see good. Back again. Two weeks. Hello back there. Oh my Hello. Alright, so that was my old restaurant I used to work at. I worked there for about like a year. Although I worked in the airport for about three to four years serving waiting tables. The best job I've had, but also the worst. Um, I was a server, a waiter. Um, it was good because I could work part-time hours and make the same money as lots of my full-time friends were working. Um, it was bad because I hate getting told what to do. I hate having other people control my money. As you know, servers, we get paid crap hourly and we make all our money from tips. So other people have control over your money and I didn't like that, man. So it really helped light the fire to become self-employed like I am today. So that's why I say it's also the best job I've had. <sighs> so the flight was long as hell, 10 hours, six hours I can do, no problem, but the last four hours just kills me. I'm like counting down the minutes and it's just horrible, but it's okay. Going back isn't too bad, it's like eight hours, so I got that to look forward to in two weeks. And that's why we usually stay kind of longer once we fly in because we also, it's, all, it's like I'm time traveling. I left at like 10 this morning and I'm here at 2 p.m. So it's like I travel back in time and then when I travel back to New York, I lose a day. So give and take. Anyways, on the baggage claim, grab my stuff. Get the beauty. Uh, blue sky. Keaton, say what's up, Sand Army. What's up? Mom, say hi. Hi. At my grandma's house. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. Get the mountainside. At my grandma's house now. Just to say hi, got them some Godiva chocolates. Only a small box because there's only three of them here. Let's go in and say what's up. Alright, just got to my parents' house. The best part about being home is the mountains. They call it a mountain range back there. Definitely miss the mountains, especially after living in the city for so long. Got my parents' yard. Monkey paw tree. All this stuff. And we can hear my birdie. My birdie. Crystal! Hey, Crystal! Crystal! Hello! Hey, hello! And I got all my Amazon stuff waiting for me. So I got all my Amazon stuff shipped here. So, one, I don't have to pay tax. 
because New York charges tax and Hawaii doesn't. And two, so I don't have to bring all of this with it. I bring all this stuff with me. So let's show you what we got. Christmas is here. All right, so first off, got another DC hat. This was actually like 10 bucks. Same thing like my red hat. I liked it so much. So I got a black and white version. The reason I like it is because I like this little, it has this white strap in the back. Normally it's like only black. I like the white. Got the GoPro selfie stick. The GoPro bodyboard mount for when we go surfing and take you guys surfing with us. I got my 16 gigabytes of RAM for my laptop. That's an upgrade. I got, this is like everything. It's like a huge GoPro kit. It has like everything like from a floaty handle to, I don't know, a whole bunch of stuff. It's like 15 different attachments, which is cool. This is, oh, another GoPro case. It's like a, what is it called? Cam Kicks frame mount for the GoPro. So I got that. Got the GoPro with the floaty back door for, again, when we do water stuff. So it doesn't sink and I don't lose lose it. I got new sunglasses, Dolce & Gabbana. I had Dolce's um, like five years ago and they're still good. So I just want to get another pair because I like how my old pair lasted forever. So I got another pair. And, oh here, this is called Slip Buzz. That's my first Hawaii tip. These aren't called, what do you guys call them? Sandals or, what do they call them? Or anything else. Or flip flops, yeah. Flip flops is what I was talking about. These aren't called flip flops. In Hawaii we call them slippas. S-L-I-P-P-A-H-S, slippas. So these are some reef slippers I got. And that's it. My mom came prepared. We got the reduced fat Oreos times two. I already brought up all my man sports goodies. Got the Moro bottle, Diet Mountain Dew, Diet Dr. Pepper, 48 cans of Monster, which I don't think is, I think it's too much. What's up, Saiyan Army? Here's a little physique update. This clip was actually taken after dinner, which you'll see at the end of the video. So these clips are a little bit out of order. I decided to throw my lifting footage kind of right in the middle just to spice things up. So today is a front squat workout. We're doing 250 pounds for sets of six. So nothing too heavy, but just still working on my form. Everything's feeling nice and tight. One thing I changed during this workout is I'm letting my knees travel a little bit more forward instead of opening up my hips. And I notice it feels a lot better on my knees when I let them travel more forward. Instead of opening up my hips, I notice sometimes they tend to cave in a little bit. So that's one of the things I'm working on in my front squat. Also with my knees shooting more forward, I notice I have to work extra hard to keep my body upright. So it's also got to get a stronger core. So it's, you know, you change one thing, you got to fix another thing. And that's just lifting in general. So that's a couple things that I'm working on and something I notice. So if you notice a couple of these reps later on in the sets or yeah, later on, in the reps, you'll see I start falling a little bit forward just because I'm not used to, to engaging my core so much. And here we got a couple Saiyan Army members. Hitting some dead front squats at the gym today, as you can see. Bar is scratching my neck. Grant to some Saiyan Army oh, subscribers. Oh, Introduce yourselves. I'm Glenn. Glenn. Miguel. All right, and you got anyone you guys want to shout out or anything? Oh, no. The gym Shark. And aesthetic revolution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. So shout out to them for approaching me. I mean, anytime you guys see me, always feel free to approach me. I don't care if I have my headphones on, I don't care if I look busy, I look angry, whatever. You know, I have that tendency to look angry because my little Asian eyes. But yeah, just always approach me guys. I'm really approachable. Um, it always blows my mind that people, you know, approach me and want to take a picture with me. I just think I'm, you know, a normal person. And for me personally, I don't get starstruck either when I see other people that might be like popular on the YouTube or just popular in general. So I expect people to treat me the same way. So it's always just cool to get noticed, you know. So anyways, here's a little back view of the front squats. As you can see, a little bit falling forward. One thing I really learned about this workout, this was one of the few workouts that I have done in a really long time that I've actually worked out by myself. 
so I rarely work out by myself but what I noticed is that when I work out by myself I can actually push myself harder for me personally I like to take my rest times normally when I work out with other people and this is just two plates repping out I think I did a couple sets of eight which I'm really proud of because my squat my squat like cardio just sucks my squat deal really sucks and it's something I'm really working on because yeah squash just kill me so yeah going back to what I was talking about is I noticed that I like to think about every set or use my break times to think about the next set and just really get in the zone and get mentally ready and I noticed when I lift with a partner and lots of times like you know in between sets we'll talk goof off whatever then I go into my set and I'm not mentally in there so I tend to miss a lot more reps lifting with a partner so it's something I want to work on I can definitely lift with people but I'm just gonna have to set the same tone like I'm lifting by myself so this workout I felt just dead after my 10 hour flight and just everything my I took a nap for 30 minutes and that jet the jet lag kicked in actually when I took that took that nap which was, was a mis which was a mistake I'm actually doing this vo voiceover it's like 1 a.m. right now so you guys will see this video tomorrow so this is Saiyan Vlog episode 1. I didn't, couldn't think of a better name than Saiyan Vlogs. Comment below if you got a better name. But thanks for watching guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. Bardock, say hi to YouTube. Say hi to Saiyan Army. <laughs> Coconut shrimp. What kind of dipping sauce he said? Well, meant something. I don't know what dipping sauce. And ahi spring rolls. That they're ahi. Prime rib. Mashed potatoes. We're all sharing. Kid crab legs. Mom salad. Fly. No mosquito. Oh, mosquito. Ooh, let's get away. Kid crab leg. Molten lava cake. Oh, you How do you like it, Gohan? <laughs> Little boy Gohan. Oh. Chocolate rain. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. A baby born will die before this. Yeah. Oh, check that out. Oh, that looks good. No macros counted today, guys. <laughs> Not a huge fan of coffee ice cream, but this is good. So this is the downstairs garden area. Mom and Dad. And also, if you guys are curious how I did my macaros, my macaronis, um, for today and not being able to track. Last night, I only ate about 1,800 or so calories. And because I slept early in before the flight, and that's why today I'm not counting. So tomorrow we'll see what I weigh and just get back on it. Thursday got a photo shoot, so got to be ready for that. Look at that delicious brown water. Are you spitting trying to look for fish? Oh, there's a fish. Yeah. You should live here. <laughs> Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! 